Arklo, Alistair Timothy and Rachel Joblin. Pongaroa farmers Alistair Timothy and Rachel Joblin have embraced the public nature of farming on a tourist route. Their home farm, Arklo, is a sheep, beef and forestry enterprise, 460 hectares effective on Route 52. We used to feel like we were in a fishbowl, but now we're used to it, Rachel says. We're proud of what we do. Alistair manages Arklo and their other land holdings, totaling approximately 1,382 hectares, while Rachel does administration and financial management and works off the farm with the agribusiness firm Summit Consulting. Arklo is mainly rolling to easy hill country, dissected by stream-eroded gullies. Alistair says native species have been used for erosion control, sediment management, riparian planting and shade and shelter, but also for biodiversity and aesthetics. Commercial woodlots have been planted with pines, 21 hectares, eucalyptus and lusitanica. About 1,100 willow and poplar poles have been planted since 2010. The farm is also part of a 300-tree Manuka trial with Horizons Regional Council. At July 2017, Arklo carried 86 mixed-aged cows, 78 beef cattle, 2,400 ewes and 800 ewe hoggets. At an 80 to 20 sheep to cattle ratio, sheep are the main driver of their business. The focus is high-performance sheep meat production, achieving average ewe lambing of 150% and hogget lambing of 90% and improving weaning weights. It's about collecting the right genetics and feeding them well, Alistair says. Diverse crops, summer and winter brassicas and pastures, plantain clover mix, pure red clover and Italian ryegrass are used to maintain quality feed supply in dry summers and wet winters to maximise stock nutrition and growth rates but also to protect soils more susceptible to pugging damage in winter. A development programme includes infrastructure, artificial drainage, improving soil fertility and new subdivision to improve grazing management. We are always thinking about how to best use the resources we have. Retiring areas means we can invest more in better areas. Alistair and Rachel are involved in many community and industry groups and have three young children, Ruby, Molly and Liam. Judges' comments. Whole farm plan is their guiding document. Environmental and physical plan for the next three years. Retired gullies and 21 hectares of pine trees. Numerous native plantings in wetter gullies with water diverted to these points. 